I'd say my main focus going into 2008 was my, my goal was to get get on TV. I wanted to get some TV time, and that obviously meant you know making at least a semifinal. So I was able to make semifinals in the 100 back and the 200 back, and I was all I was all excited. It's certainly a different atmosphere now, trying to you know actually be on the Olympic team. So it's not good enough to just make semifinals. It's not good enough to just make finals. I think you know myself and everybody else at SwimMac, uh, we want to be in a position where at night we're we're ready to make the Olympic team. What I try to do is is I really I really feed on it. Anytime I'm feeling nervous or jittery, I kind of I try to embrace it because I know the people beside me they're all feeling the same thing when there's something big on the line. Where it's something you really have to embrace if you want to succeed. You you can't be thinking of what if I don't do this or it's it's what if I fail trying to achieve this. It's this is my opportunity to do something great. I'm gonna let my heart rate get up. Gonna gonna get a little nervous. I'm gonna use that as energy to to propel me through the race. Being comfortable doing my races long course because I gained so much experience and so much confidence short course. That was kind of the hardest adjustment for me right out of college was to do long course because especially for backstroke, you know, it's, it's a whole different ball game. So I think, you know, every every meet we go to, every Grand Prix we go to, if I can build some confidence, throw down some pretty good times, I'm going to be really confident stepping up, stepping up on the blocks in Omaha. That meet definitely kind of opened my eyes to what swimming swimming can really be. Uh, first time we I stepped out for a semifinal, looked up, stands are packed, 13,000, 13, 14,000 people there. You know, I, I, I equate it to all my friends saying, like, I felt like I was an NBA star, like, stepping out onto the court. And that's kind of an experience and, and an image that has kind of stuck with me since then. It's, it's got to be probably the most emotional meet in the world. I mean, every, every trials, there are people that miss the team by hundreds, there are people that make the team by hundreds. So there's heartbreak and there's people that, you know, achieve their lifelong dream.